Revelation 2433, from the 3rd of August 1942. Love of God. Mystery of Divine Love. Words cannot express how loving and supremely good the eternal deity is. It is difficult for people to believe this in view of the many sufferings which pass over the earth, because it is incomprehensible to them that they, too, are only the expression of divine love, that they are caused by love and that they are only intended to shape the human being such that he can receive the divine emanation of love in all fullness. God's love is unchanging, it always and forever remains the same, and if its effect is sorrowful then the human being himself is the reason for it, who lives differently than is required in order to be able to receive divine love in its delightful strength. However, if the human heart has been shaped in this way, then the soul is exceedingly happy, then it is close to its original state, for it has emerged from God's love, it is a product of his divine will to love. For this reason God never abandons that which is of him but constantly supports it, he tries to shape it and bring it back to its original state in the same way as it once turned away, thus became apostate to divine love. This process of change is again only the effect of God's eternal, unchanging love. Everything that exists emerged from God's will of love, and therefore divine love can never turn away from his created beings, even if they believe themselves to be separated from him. It cannot leave the apostate spiritual beings to themselves, otherwise God's love would be changeable and unstable and thus everything God does for the purpose of regaining it must also be founded in his love, even if it gives the appearance of unkindness. Furthermore, God's wisdom determines which form God will use to achieve the return of the fallen spirit to himself. Where wisdom and love work together, there must also be success. And this success will also inevitably occur if the being relinquishes its own will and unconditionally surrenders itself to God's love, thus if it reduces the distance from God of its own accord, thus no longer opposes God's love. And the being also relinquishes its resistance as soon as it recognizes love in God, as soon as the belief comes alive in it that the creator of all things is love in himself and it feels itself as his living creation, seized by his love, which can only happen when it lives in love itself and thus begins to comprehend the mystery of divine love. Then it will strive towards this eternal love in order to one day completely unite itself with the one from whom it emerged. Amen.